have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crano! Skate Lad! Rope Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. And so, Narcissus' vanity ultimately led to his downfall. Yes, Crandall. Was Zeus a superhero? For the last time, Crandall, Zeus and the entire pantheon of Greco-Roman deities were not superheroes, they were mythological beings. Crandall, Brenda, and Hector, the governor needs you in his office. You are excused. Root me, Brenda! What's going on, Governor Kevin? Kids, you won't believe this one. Behold the sinister stylist, a once famous soap opera actress named Coco Caliente, who's been out of sight ever since she experienced an incredibly bad hair day. She's pretty! Oh yeah, and boy, she knew it. However, several years ago, she showed up at the annual state awards show with a hairdo out of a space jaunt episode, one with hostile aliens. Good one, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and to make matters worse, her co-host for the evening was TV funny man Mauricio, who proceeded to let fly with the zingers. Just dig it. I'm Coco Caliente. And I'm Mauricio. But I guess y'all still recognize me. He's funny. And he's always got a positive message for the kids. Get a brother, get a whoop whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes. Girl, don't you know Halloween was last month? <laughs> What's this? My hairdresser's phone number. You can tell him it's on me. <laughs> I always help the needy. You get the drift. Soon the entire state was laughing. Everyone but Coco, of course. She swore revenge. At first, we thought she was just overacting. You know, soap opera stuff. Right, but this morning, Coco, now calling herself the sinister stylist, and a bunch of beauty school rejects broke into Santo's salon. You mean? That's right, she is bent on giving everyone in our state bad hair. You got your gov? Drag City. She's hitting Harvey's hair hangout. We're on it. My bangs! My burns! My bun. You laughed at me and now all will laugh at you. A flat duck for you, ha! And an unflattering fade for you. Ha! Who's got bad hair now? Drop the scissors, sinister stylist! And step away from the hairspray. Don't even think about sweeping up! Although maybe you should. Timo Supremo, you're no match for me. Why, I won an award for my role in The Young and the Listless before you brats were born. Entertainment awards don't give you the right to make people feel badly about themselves. No matter how shiny they are. Cronies, clip those kids. Chica! Mega hold for ultimate control. My wheels. <laughs> Take that, ingrown. <sighs> 
look at them. Didn't you kids know that Halloween was last month? <laughs> I never knew hair stuff could be so nasty. Or hard to wash out. A superhero's just not a superhero when it's keeps and dreads. <laughs> hey, TiVo, I found some hats for you to wear. That way you won't have to be seen with those zany-looking haircuts. Even my Earth sister, Jean, thinks we look funny. Team, whoa! Wow, she's ruthless. You said it, Governor Kevin. She and her cronies toweled our crime-fighting images. I knew they couldn't cut it. <laughs> Kids, Sinister's need for vengeance is greater than we thought. We've just received word that Sinister and her cronies are headed over to the state beauty pageant. And I... Oh, I better get moving. I'm judging. I don't know, Governor Kevin. We don't look very heroic. Come on, Captain Crandall. You're our only hope. We'll be there, sir. Buzza. whoop -a. Chica. Timo. Supremo. plan on ending world hunger. Hmm, that's deep. Uh, what about world thirst? If elected to the position of state pageant queen, what would be your first order of business? New haircuts for everyone! Coco? <gasps> I was once loved by the world. My fans adored me. They even paid for my autograph. But you destroyed it all with your little remarks. Robocut, charge! <laughs> You need a trim. Come on, Coco. It's showbiz, girl. You know I didn't mean that stuff. Oh, yeah? Who's laughing now, funny man? Girl, you need to get yourself a sense of humor. Cease your styling, sinister. Timo, I almost didn't recognize you now that your super do's are super don'ts. You're washed up, sinister. Timo, scramble! You call that a super cape? Ha! Why, it's Whittle with Pa. You're crimping my style. Why, you? Hey! <laughs> Why, if it isn't the locksmith's monster? Hey. <laughs> Rinse and repeat for best results. Come on, boys, we have tresses to tangle. <laughs> Who knew Earth hair could be so important? Yeah, first Sinister made us look bad, and now she's made us look worse. We still have our hail. We interrupt this program with an urgent message from the governor. Hola, due to a recent hair-raising incident, I've got to, got to, got to declare the Gov's office a no-laughing zone. I ask each citizen to... Oh, no, the Sinister stylist groomed Governor Kevin! <gasps> What's happening? Citizens, as of 9 a.m. tomorrow, your state and your foolish-looking hair will be on permanent display for the world to see. You will know the torment of being laughed at, and I will know the joy of getting rich off your misery. Ha, 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 ha! Our state's gonna be a laughing stock. And just when we were about to get a roller hockey team. I can't get over the hairstyles you kids are wearing these days. Things sure have changed from when I was young. Just look. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you look sort of funny. I know, but that was the style. <laughs> but of course, styles come and go. It's what's inside that really counts. Oh, my mother didn't understand either. Your Earth Mom's smart. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How do we let the sinister style? make us feel badly about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we do look kind of funny. Look at my hair! Yeah? Well, I'm the Lux Mess Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still super. Who cares how I look? You said it, Cap. Then I think it's time to see a certain stylist. Timo Supremo! This is the perfect route for the tour buses. Soon Operation Laughing Stock will be a smashing success! Sorry, stylist, but your appointment with our state is canceled. Timo Supremo, layer them, boys. Timo, Ford. Rope girl, heads up. No problem. Let's roll. You can't cut your way out of this, 
one stylist. Don't you ever get tired of being laughed at? No, I know how to laugh along. But <laughs> that! <laughs> ah, you kids look bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, we do. What? We know, but we also know it's what's inside a person that counts. Our hair will grow back. Ah! And it can't make us feel bad anymore. Traps, I've been foiled. I hope you've learned that life's a lot more fun when you can laugh at yourself. Lousy, rotten self-help kids. Good job, Timo. Let's never worry about bad hair again. Deal. Kids, your supremoness has once again saved our state from dastardly doom. Righteous job. Thanks, Governor Kevin. All it took was some crack teamwork and the courage to laugh at ourselves. I'm declaring next Tuesday a statewide Laugh at Ourselves Day in honor of you and my new coif. I've never inspired a day before. <laughs> no, but you'll have plenty to laugh about. Why, thank Hey! <laughs> <laughs> There's just one more thing. Every Teemo captain needs a Supremo cape. Wow, thanks, Governor Kevin. And don't worry, Crandall. Paulson assures me this one is scissor-proof. Gee, I only wish my hair was. <laughs> 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 I just made that up. <laughs>